my fellow Bobcast supporters. I come to you today to talk about the crisis that was this season. Here in Charlotte, we went 7-59 and and set a record for the worst winning percentage of all time. We, end we ended the season losing 23 games in a row. And according to the Charlotte Observer, we had the second worst point differential of all time of 13.9. People around the league are making fun of us, and we're the butt of every joke. This is unacceptable, and as the owner, I will take responsibility to right this ship. A couple years ago, we made the playoffs, the first time in franchise history, and we as a franchise don't believe that that was a fluke. As people around the Charlotte area begin to think it's impossible to turn this around, I believe there are many reasons to think this franchise is headed in the right direction. For one, we have a bright young point guard in Kemba Walker who knows how to win and he'll be a big part of our future as we move forward. Kemba won a national championship at Connecticut in 2011 and we believe that one day soon he will lead us to the playoffs. According to his ESPN.com player page, he shot only 36%, but we think that's due to his will to take, take the shots to lead us to victory. And he will improve over time. Kemba is a great leader who will share the backcourt who will share a backcourt with our other point guard, DJ Augustine, for years to come. We only want winners here in Charlotte, and Kemba Walker is a winner. We also have a young and talented defender, Bismack Biombo, who we believe can, bec can become one of the top defensive players in this league. According to his ESPN.com play player page, Biombo averaged 12.1 rebounds and 3.8 blocks for 48 minutes. This is a guy who never played in America before, and we know he will improve on those numbers. Besides our two rookies, we have other players who have improved during the season and will continue to improve. Byron Mullins, whose nickname is BJ, who we drafted out of Ohio State in 2009, had a career year. He averaged a career-high 9.3 points, 5 rebounds a game. He had his career night on April 6th, scoring 23 points and having 14 rebounds, both career bests. We believe if we get that Byron more often, he can become the center of our team for years to come. Two other young players who we like are DJ Augustine and Tyrus Thomas. Augustine will be a backcourt mate will be backcourt mates with Kemba, and Tyrus, when healthy, is one of the best shot blockers in this league. The one good thing that can come out of us having this horrible season is that we have a high draft pick, and with the 2012 NBA draft shaping out to be one of the best ones in a couple of years, we believe we can make large strides with a player in this draft. If we're fortunate to get the number one pick, when we pick Anthony Davis, he and Biombo will lead a defensive front court that will be feared for years to come. If we don't get the first pick, there are players such as Andre Drummond and Michael Kidd Gilchrist who we could who we could also possibly look into. We also have cap space of forty seven million, which we will use to add some more pieces to our team in the offseason. Ladies and gentlemen, the Charlotte Bobcats franchise has a very bright future, as we have two young, hardworking players who will continue to get better in an off-season where we will have a top pick in the draft. I, Michael Jordan, will make sure this team is heading in the right direction, and you have my word. Thank you.